Before youth ops, I was too scared to say a lot of things to my friends, but now that I have more confidence, I feel as if I've become closer to a lot of them. Before youth ops, I knew what I wanted, but now I know how to get it. Before youth ops, I lacked confidence to the point that I missed out on opportunities. Now that I've completed the program, I jump at all the opportunities that arise. Before youth ops, I couldn't communicate my thoughts and feelings properly, but now I know how to communicate assertively and positively. 20 years ago, our founder Peter Marshman realised that young people were facing complex challenges. As a result, he developed the Personal Leadership Program designed to help young people reach their full potential. Since then, we have run more than 750 programs across South Australia and worked with more than 11,000 young people. Our mission is to increase the well-being of young South Australians to ensure they don't just cope, they thrive. There's just a gap. There's a gap between what students need and what is offered in the education system. And I think a lot of students end up kind of falling through the cracks. And if they don't have the basics covered, like being able to focus or believing in themselves enough to try or feeling motivated, that they won't succeed at school. I love the way youth opportunities changes lives. Uh, young people at such an important phase of their development come out the other side of youth ops after 10 weeks, different kids. And they're much more confident, they're much more positive, uh, and they are, their parents and their teachers report just how changed they are. And what I, what I particularly love about it, those changes don't wash away. They're still there the year after, the year after that, and well beyond school. My name is Tom Cleland. I've been working for the organisation for over 11 years now. One of the biggest changes that I've noticed since being a trainer is the increase in anxiety that young people are facing these days. Um, as trainers of the program, we've had to develop and evolve with our methodologies and um, strategies to help these young people. Uh, also, social media and um, electronic devices have been a massive um, change as well. So students that are completely distracted by them or have some sort of addictions to them. It's something that isn't actually being tackled within the, the mainstream education system. Our 10-week personal leadership program covers topics such as happiness, self-esteem, communication and motivation. Our program works to give young people the tools and skills to overcome challenges and build lifelong resilience. We now work across metropolitan and regional South Australia. We've gone as far as Port Lincoln and the Air Peninsula to Mount Gambier and the Southeast. We are so excited to be launching online programs that will see our personal leadership program delivered in more flexible and accessible ways, helping to reach more young people year on year. For youth opportunities, my self-esteem was very low. I didn't like myself very much and I pretty much changed myself to be what everyone else wanted me to be and I wasn't happy with how I was and I knew I wasn't but I just wanted to make everyone else happy. I learnt a lot about respecting myself and respecting others and just kind of being a positive influence on others of self-love and self-confidence. I believe it's really important for students to be given the chance to make some changes for themselves, but also because this actually influences wider society. It's not just about that individual student. They go out and they influence their peers, their family and their whole community. Yeah, it definitely does improve the school community as a whole. It's, it's really good because um, everyone just slowly changes into the best them that they can be and then everyone's just happy. This made it real easy talking to people and just connect and really just understand with people, like different types of people and how they like to be treated and really just gets everyone a warm feeling. One of the most memorable students uh, I've had in my programs was a girl who, who came in to work on her self-esteem. Uh, she did an incredible job over the course of the program and at her graduation she came up to myself and the other trainer and, and handed us her uh, suicide note and said I don't need this anymore, which was an incredibly inspiring thing. Um, I was lucky enough to um, keep in contact with her over a couple of years and um, got to see her graduate high school, went to a year 12 graduation and 
um, her mum and herself were so thankful for her doing the program and couldn't believe how far she'd come. Before Youthops, I really wanted to make short films, but I thought I was too immature. But now I can and am in the process of making my own unique films. Before Youth Opportunities, everything was okay, but I felt like I was living a stationary life. But now I know that I can be the best person I can be if I stepped out of my comfort zone and tried. Before Youth Ops, I was really shy and closed in, but now I've made a lot of new friends and I'm feeling more comfortable.